Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk with you about three nine pole positions which always come up and you definitely should not miss out to practice. And of course there are way way more nine ball situations you should practice but I picked those three for a reason. Because they are not too hard, not too easy but many of us including me sometimes screw up on those. And at the end of the video I show you how pros taught me how to practice those shots apart from the technical aspect but from a methodical aspect and how to stay motivated. So stay tuned. And I call the first one the flat transition. So the reason why I call it the flat transition is very obvious. I think there's not a lot of angle between the cue ball and the object ball. Theoretically you got three options. One option is to go forward, meaning potting the seven ball in the corner pocket, moving the cue ball onto the head rail and then over to the eight ball. So that's one option. The second option would be a super, super tough uh, power shot, just stunning the white ball into the side cushion and uh, moving it over here but I think that's super super tough and the third option of course is to play a draw shot two rails possibly three rails to get over here and to play onto the eight ball. So without further ado let me show you the first one. And of course you can play the flat transition also the other way around. Let me show you. The second shot is a one rail draw transition and you can also play this of course in two different ways. That's how it looks like. The one rail draw transition is also a classic. You need to get on to the six ball. You can't go forward because there are some blockers there so you would get stuck over there. So the only option you have is to play a draw shot onto the side cushion to come back over here.
And the third shot is an absolute classic, I call it the V position or the M uh, position or the W position, however you want to call it. There are many, many ways to play it, but another shot you definitely should practice. Of course, there are many ways to play this nine ball situation, but I want to show you two of them, a better one and a not so good one, and please judge by yourself which one you would rather play in a match situation. So the first option of course is you just pot the eight ball, you use the top rail, you use the side rail, you come down onto the nine ball. That's standard ball and the reason why many pros play this I believe and that's what's been told to me is because that's a so-called line position because you run into the line of the nine ball meaning it doesn't matter if you stop here, if you stop here or if you stop here you might always get a shot on the nine. The another one which is not so preferred is to cross it over via two rails or even three rails because here you are crossing the path of the nine. So either you get really short, that's one option, not so likely, but quite often you might overrun the position on to the nine and I think we all been there, we've all done that. So let me know which version you would play in this situation. So how do you practice these shots? One of the most common mistakes I have been told by pros we amateurs do is that we play this shot once or twice or three times and we make it and then we are like, ah, I can pull off this shot, I'm really good at it. But that's maybe a misconception because it might be that we are lying to ourselves because we play the shots a couple of times and then we're like, yeah, I'm good to go, I'm, I can do it. So a much better option of course to practice these shots is of course to isolate them. Meaning just setting up the one single shot you need to practice, use 10 balls maybe and shoot it 100 times and write down how often out of 100 times you are able to pull it off. And that gives you a very very good feedback on your actual capabilities of pulling a shot like this off. I will give it a try, I will play the flat transition shot 10 times and let us see how often I can pull off this shot consecutively. I'm super interested if you could let me know what kind of nine ball positions you are practicing and just let me know in the comment section below.
As you saw, I made 9 out of 10, so 90% not too bad, but not 100%. But the good thing when practicing these shots like this, it keeps you focused and it gives you, as I mentioned before, an objective feedback. And also practicing your concentration is not the worst thing to do. There's definitely more content coming up in the future. So enjoy the summer and see you in the next one.